Hi, boys and girls. The book I'm about to read to you is called The Holes in Your Nose by Gen Ichiro Yagyu. It's a Japanese writer. The title in Japanese is actually very funny. It's called Hana no Ana no Hanashi. Try saying that 10 times really fast. Hana no Ana no Hanashi. Hana no Ana no Hanashi. Oof. Really challenging, isn't it? Well, this is an unusual kind of nonfiction book because when I look inside, I notice that there are no photographs. It's all illustrations. Nonfiction books don't necessarily have to have photographs, do they? And another thing I noticed is that there are no headings in this book. So when I look at this page, there's no heading at the top that tells me what this page is about. Instead, the words just tell me what this page is about. But I do see some other text features in this book. Like I saw a diagram in this book with some labels in it. And we'll get to it later in the book, but I'm just gonna point it out to you that here I saw a diagram. So this nonfiction book does have some uh, very typical nonfiction features in it. Now, hmm. I know you've been learning about warming up your brain before you read nonfiction books. So let me think for a minute. <clears throat> when I look at this book, the holes in your nose and the, the cover illustration, I notice that there are two big holes. Wow. You know, I know that your, the holes in your nose are called nostrils. You know, if I'm to do an I wonder about the book before I read, I think it's that I wonder why we have two nostrils. And do all creatures have two nostrils? That's an I wonder I have about this topic. Another thing I wonder is, I wonder what these nostrils are for besides breathing. I know I use them to breathe, but what else do I need my nostrils for? So now that I've warmed up my brain, I'm ready to read this book. Do you have any I wonders about this book? Think about it, and then let's read together. The Holes in Your Nose Written and illustrated by Gen Ichiro Yagyu The holes in my nose are bigger than hers but they're not nearly as big as grandpa's. When I'm old, will the holes in my nose be like that? I can't wait to find out. Oh, I see. The words in small print here are what the boy is saying. Holes in the nose come in all different sizes and shapes. Now everybody, look up and show the person reading this book the holes in your nose. You, with the mustache, no need to open your mouth. I bet you can see the holes in my nose even if I don't look up, can't you? Almost all animals have two holes in their noses. Oh, that answers my question. Let's see what animals there are on this page. There's elephant, horse, Turtles, dog, camel, wild boar, they all have two holes in their noses. But some have only one. The one hole in a dolphin's nose is on top of its head. It's right here. A seal can open up the holes in its nose wide or squeeze them closed. So when it dives under, water doesn't get in its nose. The hippopotamus, too, can pop open the holes in its nose really wide or snap them shut. Very useful, those holes in its nose. We can make the holes in our noses bigger and smaller, too, but only a little. We breathe through the holes in our noses, sucking in the air and then pushing it out. This is the most important thing the holes in our noses do. Of course, when we open our mouths, we can breathe through our mouths or our noses. What about the hole in the lid of the tea kettle? 
Is it a nose hole too? Oh, boys and girls, I think that's supposed to be a joke. When the holes in your nose get stuffed up, you can't smell anything. When the holes in my nose are stuffed up, I can't smell it even when I fart. And the boy is going, broom, I guess that's the farting sound. And the girl is saying, ugh, poo. And the cat is even saying, P-U, what a stink. When the holes in your nose get stuffed up, the words you say become harder to understand. My nose is all stuffed up. It's time for me to go to bed now. Good night. When the holes in your nose get stuffed up, it's harder to say M's and N's. Hold your nose and try saying, Nani nu ne no, mami mu me mo. Okay, boys and girls, shall we try it? Are you holding your nose? Nani nu ne no, mami mu me mo. Hairs grow in the holes in your nose. Nose hairs catch tiny bits of dirt from the air you breathe in. You don't have to let your nose hairs grow as long as this man's. Not that there's anything wrong with it. The boy's going, ah, chew! When large bits of dirt get in your nose, you blow them out by sneezing. Boogers collect in the holes in our noses. Boogers are a mixture of dirt and mucus. They're like little balls. Hmm, that word mucus is new to me. I think that's the liquid that comes out of my nose. Oh, here's a diagram. Let me take a look at the diagram and see what it says. The labels say, okay, those dots are bits of dirt in the air. And the white part is, that's mucus, that's the liquid. And then the arrow takes me to the mucus with the dirt combined. It says little by little, they clump together until a real booger. Boogers are made from dirt, so they're dirty. Even if you line them up neatly like this, they're still dirty. There is always moisture in your nose, so it's damp inside. When you catch a cold, there's more moisture than usual. It becomes mucus and drips out. Oh, boys and girls, there's that word mucus again. That's the liquid part, the liquid that comes out of your nose. Let's see. Let me read this conversation here between the gorilla and the writer. Say, gorilla, did you know your nose is running? Do you want a tissue? I don't need one. What are you going to do? Let it dry, then pick it off and eat it. Ugh! Yuck! If you pick your nose too roughly, you can get a nosebleed. Look! It's bleeding! Nosebleeds can happen for many reasons, like when you get hit in the nose, or even when you're not doing anything, sometimes it will bleed. Usually, a nosebleed will stop if you hold your nose and sit still for 10 minutes or so. If it doesn't, you should have a doctor look at it. What is the inside of your nose like? There are two holes in your nose. So the inside of your nose is divided in two all the way back. The inside of your nose and the inside of your mouth are connected at the back of your throat. The inside of your nose is full of funny shaped bumps. The air you breathe in passes between these bumps. So, boys and girls, let me take a look at the diagrams on this page here. Let's see, the first diagram of the smaller head says, the big picture on the right is a side view of this part of the inside of your nose. Oh, I get it. So, they're, they're both the same person, except the bigger head is a view of the person from the side. So let me see, the parts of his nose are the right nose hole, okay, nose hairs, mouth, and then there's the inside of your nose, it says, the red part, and then the inside of your mouth, those white things are tooth, tooth, and then underneath, pink, 
says it says tongue and then if you go all the way down the red part it says throat hmm interesting is that what I look like from the side now let me see where the lines lead to let me read the words the first line leads to words that say you smell smells in this area oh I get it so the inside of the inside of my nose the top area of the inside of my nose is where I smell things okay the second line leads to cold air you breathe in through the holes and in your nose gets warm when it reaches here and dry air gets damp hmm damp that's a new word damp means wet I think so oh I get it so even dry air that comes in by the time it gets to the back of the nose the air gets wet and the last line leads to there's a hole here that connects with the inside of your ear oh so does that mean your nose and your ears are connected ah I see that's why sometimes when you have a sinus infection a nose infection a stuffy nose you can get an ear infection too I hear the holes in your nose are not pockets so don't put pebbles peas erasers pencils or anything else in the holes in your nose the girl saying don't do it piggy says they say you're not supposed to do it if you fill up the holes in your nose with morning glory seeds the seeds will swell up and begin to sprout your nose will hurt a lot and that would be terrible boys and girls I think that was another joke because seeds really can't grow inside noses can they there are lots of other holes in your body besides the holes in your nose the holes in your ears your mouth the holes in your behind the hole where pee comes out all the holes in your body are very important you should always keep them clean when the holes in your nose look like this it means the end now that we're done with the book it's time to do a little reflecting did your question get answered if you said yes my question got answered then what did you learn try saying the sentence I learned if it didn't get answered well what else did you learn